So, I would like to invite now on the stage with me, Walter Bayer, the president of the European Left Party, and it's official, the Spitzenkandidat of the Party of the European Left for the European elections. Congratulations, Walter. <laughs> it was difficult, but now we are here. Thank you very much, Valentina. Thank you very much, Asta. Uh, thank you very much, Natasha. And thank you very much, all the comrades uh, from Levitsa uh, who make uh, this uh, extraordinary moment, our moment, uh, happening. I want to say firstly uh, that I'm so glad to be here in uh, Ljubljana with your party. Uh, I was one of those who at that time, uh, being a coordinator of the political foundation of the party of the European left, Transform Europe, uh, being involved in the foundation of the movement. And I saw in all these years the movement growing and growing and growing, and then the party being successful, entering into the parliament. And uh, I'm so happy and pr proud about of this, because it's the proof what togetherness and solidarity and determination can achieve. That's wonderful, C comrades. Thank you very much uh, for this. We are talking about European politics. They say European politics is far away from people. And they are right. European politics is far away from people. But that's why we have to reclaim European politics. It's our Europe. It's our, uh, our people. We have to demand, to put forward our demands. Let's reclaim. This is the moment. This is our moment. Make the right for affordable, decent, climate-friendly housing a part of European primary law. Adopt a European directive to introduce a legal rent cap. Prohibit fixed-term tenancies from primary residences. Don't talk about this. Do it. Just do it. Reserve 7% of the European Union's GDP for education, research, and innovation. Start making possible that every European has the right to access freely and easily public services, healthcare, education, public transport. Don't talk, do it. That's why we say also that when people in the European Parliament and the European Commission demand 2% of the GDP for armament expenditures, no, the opposite is necessary. Spend 2% of our GDPs for culture and art, for education, for healthcare, for strengthening the public services. We want women to be protected from male and patriarchal uh, violence. That's why we want to see femicide as a notion recognized in European legislation. We want to have a European definition of rape. Yes is yes, and no is no, and nobody has the right to deprive women from their self-determination. Yes, indeed, we are in a moment of crisis. Europe has become the fastest warming continent in the world. Climate change is an urgency. We need significant changes in the way we produce and in the way we consume. But we do not want that the fight for climate justice becomes the issue of the well-to-do middle classes, of an enlightened minority which with authoritarian means oppose the change to the vast majority of our people. That's why we support the European Trade Union Confederation's demand for a just transition which nobody left behind. In fact, it must be the working classes becoming the protagonist about the, uh, of the ecological change. There will be no ecological change if the working classes do not adopt this as their own demand and as their own necessity. <laughs> Let's make the difference. 
there are many people now talking uh, about the ecological crisis. We say every step towards ecological and climate uh, rehabilitation is necessary and we are willing to cooperate with everybody available to this. But at the same time, we say to the people, we do not believe in the reconciliation of nature and capitalism. There is a fundamental contradiction. And if you want to have ecological rehabilitation, you have to curb neoliberal capitalism. You have to oppose wars. There are nowadays many people considering the present state of affairs of, uh, uh, as a crisis. And there are always two ways out of a crisis. The one way out of the crisis is backward. That is the way to austerity, to go back to the uh, stability and growth pact, which imposes austerity on the European states. This is the way of nationalism, the way of wars, the way of arms expenditures. This is the way we want to oppose. We are the ones who, who, to, to, who want to go forward, to want to achieve a Europe of solidarity, of equality, of justice, of hope, and of togetherness. And in this way, we will have a positive campaign, an optimistic campaign, with aims at, to empowering people to take their destiny, destiny in their own hands. In this sense, comrades and friends, let's now kick off. This is the moment to start. This is our moment. Thank you for the cooperation, the solidarity, and the help you provide. Thank you very much.